Welcome to my paralog walkthrough. Today, we will be covering the rumored Nubitals paralog. This is Ingrid and Dorothea's paralog. You will know that you can only bring nine additional units. Byleth, Ingrid, and Dorothea must come with you. Now, I need to point out that this map is filled with crater tiles, which will damage you by 20% of your health if you stand on it. Also, they will, will hamper your movement by, by 20% unless you're a flyer. Good news is there are quite a few heal tiles scattered throughout the map if necessary. But please keep that in mind because if you are playing on the blue lion path, you'll see this again for sure. But then also, these craters can be extremely da dangerous if, if you're taking this paralog the moment you're able to. That being said, my characters are a little bit overpowered. Although, I must admit, Ingrid and Dorothea don't have any weapons. But whatever, let's get this fight underway. Now, the, vi the victory conditions are unique for this paralog. Either defeat every unit which is about the enemy, or you get Ingrid to the target destination, which will be revealed once you start the paralogue, of course. The defeat conditions are your typical paralogue defeats Ingrid, Ingrid or Dorothea falls in battle. The more we look into this... No kidding. <laughs> Hand over the girl. Surely you can't mean me. This jerk figures he can- Of course, we know the trip will never let- Protect Ingrid! <laughs> now, this line of white, white blue, or, or teal, however you want to call that color, sky blue even, these three tiles are Ingrid's target destination. She gets here, the paralogue ends. And that's the fastest way to actually clear this mission, so I'm going to focus on that as the outcome. Also, my Ingrid has no weapons Stay in this paralogue, so me, me. it's more efficient for me to actually... <laughs> well, as I mentioned earlier, it's more efficient for me to actually go that route. Now, horses or cavalry or any mounted unit won't be a great fit here. So if you can, have them dismount. Sorry, but victory is mine. Who, me? That's my cue. Actually, Ready, I'll have anytime. Ignatz open this chest because I can and he's an assassin. You don't really have to. There's no item that you must grab, but it doesn't hurt. Who, me? If you can avoid it at enemy's danger zone or attack range, as evidenced by ZR, it would be helpful, but you have no choice but to fight your way past enemies, don't forget that. Now, Ingrid's- one of Ingrid's best places to fly will usually be over lava because it will help her avoid the range of any unit. First, it will help her avoid any close combat, but second, it will prevent units from getting too, too close to her. That merchant is giving orders- now, I, I know that we've just pointed out that if you defeat this guy, reinforcements will stop appearing from uh, this direction. But in reality, I'm not going to pursue that possibility because I'm just going to focus on Ingrid getting from point A to point B as quickly as possible. That is that. I admit I have fed my Byleth with a considerable amount of stat boosting item, so he is significantly more powerful, but not the point. Now I'm actually going to put units very close, but not on the crater. Except for a few exceptions, because they have no choice but to get burned. They don't have, they never had the movement to bypass it in one, well shall I say, one leap or one movement range. Ingrid, as always, will be flying over lava 
to avoid an attack. Don't worry about the flood of units. And don't worry too much about getting hurt either. Not that it's not a significant thing, but sometimes a character will not have enough movement to make it over the gap in or a crater tile in one sitting. That's perfectly fine. You can always heal up afterwards. It's just more important for everyone to get across as soon as they can. Keep moving Ingrid as well. She needs to constantly be moving. And if you've made her a flyer, if you recruited her early on, you can make her something else. But if you if she's a flyer, have her keep moving towards that target destination at Dixie all times. Now more units will pop up, and if you're not at a very high level, you will have to deal with them. So yeah, just be aware of that. But now that everyone is safe and has literally made it over, it's time to start taking out some units. Oop bit too dangerous, so I'll have Raphael clear that unarmed guard out. Now Ignaz to take out this. Followed by Claude, who's in immense range. We'll allow him to actually pick out the archer in this case. If Ingrid stays here, she'll be safe. Although, that should not have really been a surprise. And we'll have Byla. Oh, I don't know. As expected. Of course, the units will start moving towards both Ingrid and Dorothea because, well, the whole point of the paralogue is for them to be hunted. But don't worry too much. And I don't mean that sarcastically either. Keep your units together at all times, and you shouldn't really have to worry about reinforcements too often. Okay, Dorothea has actually taken a bit of a beating, so I'll have to have her retreat. Actually gonna have Byleth start making his way down. Haven't forgotten about that guy though. He will be taken down by Raphael. Should have trained better. The attack range on it. These units has decreased signif significantly. So I can now bring Ignatz over. Don't be afraid to talk out these steps that you're taking. Now I can safely put Ingrid on any crater tile because she won't take damage due to being a flyer. Now the other units are coming in, but as long as you've kept moving and you haven't been stalled, you shouldn't have to worry too much about reinforcements coming in. They'll never not be a thing, but it won't be too bad. Alright, now I'll make it to this point. Enemies in hiding. And the moment, no matter what, the moment you just make it to that point, enemies will show up. So with that being the case... 
Just focus on getting all your units over as quickly as you can. Actually, have Hilda stay behind to take care of those units because she's moving too slowly anyway. And Ingrid will fly over anyway. Your enemies can also be affected by crater tiles, but the AI is not so stupid as to not factor that into account. So don't expect a unit to constantly stand around on a crater tile and burn themselves to death. It's just not happening. That is that. Now, of course, if you're un I can speed ahead with Byleth because I've been playing with Byleth for a while. But if you haven't, do remember, and again, this is really important to note, that your units can still be overpowered because they'll move towards Ingrid and Dorothea at all costs. So take out any units along the way without over, how should I say it, without overreaching or lo losing track of where Ingrid is and leaving her all by herself. You do not want your enemies basically forgetting about getting to Ingrid or Dorothea as you've forgotten them. Dorothea should travel with you at all times. Ingrid, on the other hand, it shall either fight with you or make her way to the exit depending on what her objective is. Uh, Hilda's gonna take a little bit of damage, but that's all good. I mean, it's not really good, but she doesn't really have a choice. I'll just move Ingrid over to these squares. And that's the end of the paralogue. I'm sorry for causing such a mess. Oh, hush. For you, I, I'm okay. My father will. That is the end of the rumored of the rumored Nupital's paralogue. Really, the strategy is quite simple. Just keep Ingrid and Dorothea protected at all times. Be prepared for ambushes and units popping out at you as you proceed along the map. If reinforcements are overwhelming you, take out the merchant in the upper right-hand corner of the map. But otherwise, stay close together. Pay attention to crater tiles, so that your units don't get recklessly damaged, and these enemies should not pose that much of a risk to you. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please do subscribe. There will be more videos like this in the future. Until then, thank you so much for watching the Rupert, this paralogue, the rumored Nupitals paralogue walkthrough, and I hope to see you at my next walkthrough. Thank you so much, and yeah, as I said, see you next time.